Back on tea. Back back on brand. Didn't want anyone to feel uh, uncomfortable uh, for too long. You know, going me going without a cup of tea for, for several episodes. <laughs> but we're back now. Back. Normal service has resumed. You also notice I'm wearing the same shirt. Which gives you... And now gives you a nice visual. A nice visual indicator of how many episodes I do <laughs> a day. You know, how long the schedule is for that day. A little behind the scenes for you there. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's begin, shall we? Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, everybody. Welcome back to Resident Evil 8 Village. You are here with Morris. How is everybody doing? At the end, well, not just at the end, but all the way through the last episode. We'd made our way through House Beneviento. Is that, is that what it was? It wasn't even that long ago, and I've already forgotten. <laughs> it's a very memorable location, though, for the events that take place inside. Uh... But yeah, sadly, gameplay-wise, once you've hang on a second, once you've done it, you've you've just kind of you've just kind of done it. Um, now then, there is a uh, I don't think there's too much more to be gained from from doing it a second time, but nonetheless, that happens sometimes. Right? I think I want to go back. I think I actually want to go back before I go forward. Sometimes you got to take a step back to take two steps forward. Not like that song, "One Step Forward, Two Steps Back." That's the opposite. But I'm thinking... Sorry, I'm furiously checking the map here. Can I... I can't go down the... I think I have to go... Do I have to go all the way around? I think I do. Well, that's what we're doing. So if we don't have to, I apologize. I'm already wasting your time. Only a few minutes in and I'm wasting your time. Well, not even a few minutes. Barely, barely, barely three minutes. And I'm already wasting your time. Uh, let's, we'll just go. We'll just crawl. <laughs> Probably ultimately quicker, slightly, than running all the way around. <clears throat> yes, I think this is an optional house that we're going to now. But I'm quite enjoying revisiting the locations and picking up all the treasures and things. I feel like sometimes I get a bit cocky with games like this, especially Resident Evil games, where I think that, oh yeah, I don't really need, I don't need that stuff, I don't need those bonus things, I don't need this and that and the other. And then I get to the end and I'm like, why is this so difficult? <laughs> well, you didn't pick anything up, idiot. You didn't pick any of the stuff up that's actually very easy to, to get and you don't really have to go out your way that much. Oh, that's why it's difficult. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. All right, another code. I'll never forget her fifth birthday. I, I've forgotten. Can someone remind me? Aha, here we go. 2709.17. 2709.17. Say it with me. 2709.17. And there we are. We got another treasure. And this. High capacity mag. I'll take that. Where is it? It's hard to tell. Because everything is grey. Oh, can I not just combine stuff that way? Okay. See, I'm too used to RE4. Just, just slam it on there. Slam it in there. On there? In there. Doesn't matter. However which way. There must be something else in this in this room here. Probably another hidden bag of money. I'm not gonna spend forever looking for the like we've clearly got the treasure. <laughs> we've clearly got the important part of this uh, of this particular house. We've collected that. I seem to recall having this problem the first time I ever came here. Is looking for the hidden item. You know what? I'm not going to waste your time anymore. I didn't find it. I know I didn't find it. You know I didn't find it. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> we can just move on with our lives. Like I say, I got the main, the main thing. Right, let's head back, shall we? 
And we will head back to the uh, the path, the actual, the critical path. Which way is that, you might ask? Well, I'm the wrong person to ask, <laughs> clearly. Again, I think this might be slightly faster this way. I'm trying to keep things moving for you, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I got you. I got you, YouTube, don't you worry about a thing. Keeping the pace, keeping the pace up. I don't want to let this go cold, actually. See, you don't have to worry about that with water. Unless you're drinking hot water. But why would you do that? Well, tea is mostly hot water. <laughs> but it also has tea in it. Well, that's the key ingredient of tea, is tea. Alright, and if you'll remember, way back when... Well, I didn't expect that. Oh no, not down there. That's, oh, that's, uh, see, that's unrecoverable damage, I feel. I think it wants me to head in here, yeah. Ah! I didn't even have chance to get back. That's right. I don't know that I've ever actually beaten this thing. The wounds are severe. I won't last much longer. I can hear it shuffling about outside. It barely flinched when I shot it. I feel like it's toying with me. That isn't a wolf. Still, I won't lie down like a dog. If I can get to the old water mill, I can stop it. I can protect you. It's so close. Damn, I'm so cold. My legs won't work. I'm so sorry, Louisa. Please forgive me. If I can get to the old water mill, I can stop it. Huh, I wonder if uh, bullets aren't the way to take this thing down. Yeah, I don't recall. I think, uh, I think maybe I ran past this. I just kind of moved on with my, with my life, really. Clearly. Clearly it worked. No, I imagine bullets will stop it. I don't I don't think. It's behind me, isn't it? I don't think that uh, I need to do anything special. Maybe there is like a special kill you can get. Ouch! It really hurt. Oh, I thought I had more pistol ammo than this. Never mind. Right, well, let's just uh, try and rinse and repeat this strategy. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We just saved, so if anything goes wrong. The magic of reloading will help. Come on, up on the roof. Up on the roof. I know you want to get up here. And we drop off, and then we back it up. Same as before. Ouch. Same as before. Exactly the same. Uh, down to the letter so far. Same as before. Oh, that feels pretty definitive. And yes, I will take up your offer of uh, crafting. Perfect. Well, not perfect. It definitely have gone better. <laughs> it's definitely seven instances that I can count where uh, where that could have gone better. Right. Let's uh, help ourselves to whatever's in here. Yeah, I don't remember fighting that, but maybe I did. Oh, that engraving gives us no tactical advantage whatsoever, but we will take this grenade launcher. <laughs> Probably quite useful. Wow, actually, that's very useful. A grenade launcher? Just in some random house, I'll take it and I'll unlock this before I forget to unlock this. You can't unlock it. There you go. <laughs> like I say, just, uh, you know, I'm giving you all the facts. Playing it through as you would, you know? Right, let's head to the south, shall we? Uh, is there anything else out here? I feel like there was another well, but maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm obviously am completely wrong. Otherwise, it would be on the map, I'm sure. 
And I feel like I can hear someone. But well, maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot of goo around here. It looks breakable. With this tiny knife. Yeah. <laughs> Why waste ammo? Because it's probably faster? Well, I can't argue with that. The old windmill. I mean, you say the old windmill. Is anything new around here? I feel like it probably isn't. Right now, we're going up the old ladder. Over the old wall to the old windmill. The, wi the Wilton Mill. I know how to English. Can you tell I've been doing this a while? <laughs> I mean, the shirt is a dead giveaway. But... Don't worry, Piggy. I'm not chasing you. I'm just uh, after some items. Ah! Another ball puzzle. Well, that will no doubt be for later. Uh, that's not for that. I think I need a crank here. Ah, yes, of course. This is the sequence that you get the crank. I remember now. Photo of a rare pig. Well, I better not do anything to that pig then. If it's so rare, it must be protected, surely. Reservoir elevator. Let's head down. Let's head down with a gun. Let's head down with a better gun. Actually, I don't think we're in any, any danger immediately here. This is just the pre-area. Where there's, where there's nothing really going on. <laughs> You're starting to uh, notice certain patterns with this game. But yeah, we had the creepy baby house. Which, uh, I've said multiple times already. Probably sick of hearing me say it now, but... It's the same over and over. We're heading to this, this area now, which is also... Pretty much the same every time you do it. Like, I don't think anybody's having a, a different experience with this. And I think it's a it's a thing that I would... You know, I'm trying not to be too negative. Because that's just generally a rule that I try and live by these days, is try not to be too negative. Try and be positive, if anything. <laughs> that's really what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm trying not to be... Uh, I'm trying to be positive. But it's probably a, a criticism that I would throw at Resident Evil... More than I would throw at other games. Just because, you know, one of the big selling points and one of the things that I've always appreciated about. Oh yeah, this really is a high capacity mag. Wow. Eight won't even do it. Um, you know, one of the things I praise the series for, certain games in the series, is uh, their replayability and the kind of the variation. But it's, it's the type of game. I mean, like I say, my... Well, obviously one of my favorites being RE4. That game is so different every time. Um, it might not look it, but the encounter the encounters are the same. Unless of course you play randomizers, <laughs> in which case they're very different. But uh, if you're just playing, you know, the vanilla version, the encounters are the same. But the variation in where enemies are going and what enemies are choosing to do can be very different. You know, that slight difficulty modifier as well can play uh, can play can play havoc with that. Here's me basically watching trailers on Netflix. Mother Miranda, if it's for you, I'd do anything. <sighs> hey there, friend. I'll just be taking this. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing with Mother's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me! Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, the others will laugh at me. But 
If I had you better than them... What do I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plugged away. What do you... So this guy's not feeling very well. Damn freak! Well, let's not judge. Yeah, that's that's basically his deal. Is he's not feeling very well. As far as I can tell, that seems to be the case. Anyway, he's saying he's blocked the way, but we can get out. Just need to uh, try a little harder. How do I get out of here? That's all. How do I get out of here? Just out of interest. See, as we get later into the game, see, my, my memory uh, will dwindle. <laughs> uh, is that back outside? Hang on. I seem to remember an underground area that I want to check out. Is it here? Oh no, this is back outside. Maybe this is what I want to check out. Well, that tends to be the case, right? We all seem to we all we all remember like the beginnings, the beginnings of games. Even if we played it all the way through, I seem to remember the beginnings better than the ends. Or is that just me? I think this is where I'm thinking that I should be. Should be a few enemies with a little shack in the... Yeah, here we go. Alright. Now yeah, the memory's not totally gone. Not completely. Who wants to go first? You, madam. Anyone else? Maybe I could up the firing speed of this thing, actually. Not in my, uh... Oh my god, Ethan's such a good artist. Look at that. <laughs> Drawing all these encounters. Leaving nothing to the imagination with his uh, Lady D sketch. Um, what was I even looking for? Sorry, I just distracted myself with the, with the sketch of Lady D just there. What was I after? Oh, I was going to craft some ammo. That's right. I remember now. I don't think we're done here. I'm sure this I feel like there must be someone else. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. The fewer enemies, the happier I'll be. Because you can, uh, I think you can buy yourself in this shack. Yeah. That's, there you go. I was going to say, why would you even need to, <laughs> to do that if there weren't more enemies? So here we are. Oh, big boy. I see. Oh, jeez. Hey there, friend. Oh, there's lots of stuff going on here. Well, fortunately, I keep a few of these in the old back pocket, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's big boy not... Did, did that hit anyone, or did that was that just a fancy explosion? shell, but it was absolutely worth it. Whew. I forgot there was actually a key item in there. I mean, that was literally a key item. An item that was a key. That is a key. A boat key. I just thought there were optional goodies, but <laughs> no, there was more. 
Ah, good. Any, uh, any ceiling gems? Feels like you'd have ceiling gems in here. I'm not going to, uh, bend over backwards looking for them. Well, maybe a little bit. No? Okay. I think we have everything that we actually need. Yep. Well, that'll do then. Well, maybe, maybe I'll have a cheeky, uh, cheeky look at... Nope. No, maybe, maybe a little cheeky look over here. No? Okay. Well, I'm disappointed in myself. Maybe it's back here, actually. <laughs> Aha! Perfect. Is that something? Nope. Nope, this is just a place to stand. Well, we stood. Okay, well, we got the boat key. So let's get the boat. The missing piece of the puzzle. The boat puzzle. Ah, the old windmill again. How many old windmills are there? Oh, there's another. That's even older, that one. <laughs> Still going. I'm the aggressor in a lot of these situations. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know, I, I just come along and disturb everybody. They're minding their own business. They may not have even attacked. But I'm giving them plenty of reasons to, uh, to hate me. Leave the boat key in the shack in the mine. Oh, this is just telling you. You're missing something. That's cold. Hans is dead, so no more fishing for a while. I mean, we all know his death was no accident. He was eaten by a giant fish. Boat and all. I think it's we're gonna need a bigger boat time. Is there nothing else in here? No, this is it's barely even a, a real room. <laughs> Ah, uh, right, let's get on the boat then. Beautiful. It's a left stick. Wait, how am I getting that then? I thought I was going to drive to it on the boat. That treasure? I possibly have to just walk to it then. <laughs> okay. Well, it wasn't that fun, everybody. Wasn't that fun, that boat ride we just had? Oh, you can't. Okay. So what the heck, then? Huh. I wonder. Can't come around the back of it. Because it doesn't look like there's enough space. Alright, well, if I can't walk to it, then I definitely have to boat to it. The question is how? And the answer is nowhere for, to be found. I can't go around the back. Okay, maybe it'll come up later. See, I don't want to spend forever on, on some of these uh, treasures. What was that? Some kind of Delago type. Trying not to make too many RE4 references, if possible. Have I ever in my life been up here? <laughs> this is 
this a big cave room? If it is, I think I have. Yeah. I don't know what's in here, though. Possibly just fish. That I can use to give to the duke. Should we do some fishing? Do we even care? Oh, they're invincible fish. Alright, he's gonna have to just make do with that, because... <laughs> I ain't spending my life going through that. Yeah, there are. There's limited. There's obviously not like a plethora of sources to get to get those ingredients from. I think you actually have to get most of them. What the right, hell? Swap it out for my water again. Research post or something. What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. Carlos. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job! Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown, but my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What business? You're out of your depth, get it? Works on two levels. I love things that work on two or more levels. Hey. Shit! Stay back! <sighs> the exit's underwater. You're dead. I don't have time for this. It's really important to have good posture in life. Miranda sent you to slow me down? You're pathetic. You don't need to get that close. What are you talking about? What the fuck is wrong with you? What did you eat? Not feeling well. As I said. Time to go. A bit of a plankage. What am I supposed to do? Spraying across us then. Rose Clinic, right, let's go the opposite direction. <laughs> He said the exit's underwater. I guess that means the exit's underwater. Alright, I don't think I can do this yet. I can drain the water. <sighs> Shit, there's no power. There's never any power. Reservoir Gatehouse Operations Instructions. In an instance of heavy rain. I like how the objective flashes up. Just on that side, just for a second. In an instance of heavy rain, there may be damage to the local aquatic life. It is advised that you drain all excess water using the following steps. 1. Move the windmills with a crank. To start the electric... Resident Evil. To start the electricity of the gatehouse. Pull the lever in the gatehouse to open the sluice gate. 
find the thing and then put it in the thing. Got it. And here's the merchant. If it's just looking, window shop away. Don't even wanna know how he got here. Now this is something to splurge on. My goodness. I love a good... You know what? I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> you thought I was going to say it, and I'm not. Uh, let's get rate of fire on this uh, pistol. And honestly, anything that doesn't have it already. Oh, that just, that's just that's just a one and done shotgun. Yeah, that makes sense. How much? Five? Yeah, no, yeah we'll upgrade it a little bit more. And that'll probably, oh, maybe a bit, maybe a bit on the old capacity, just maybe a bit there. Oh, capacity upgrades, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll give us a little bit of ammo as well, I think. That's a good system. I appreciate that system. Once you know about it, just tip in the scales. Just tip in the scales in your favor a little bit more when you know that. All right, well, merchant, I'll leave you there. I'm sure you know what you're doing. You seem to get around a lot easier than me. So if you want to let me know how that's done, you can do that. Wait, that arrow that was down in Moreau's clinic, is that just a dead end? It may have an item. That's all I'm thinking. Oh yeah, it is just a dead end. Straight away a dead end. And no item, great. Right, well. Back up it this way then. I appreciate this unlimited sprint ability. For when I make these kind of mistakes and I have to backtrack. This crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's going to snap any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. So that is where we shall be going. That's where the crank is. That's where we got to be. So yeah, this is a... Uh, this is another heavily, sort of, ow, my eye. This is another heavily scripted sequence. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but again, it's kind of going to work this way every single time. So, again, when you, when you know, you know. And there's not much else. There's not much else happening. And I think this is just going to break, is it? Yeah. <sighs> Seriously? Seriously? No one's kidding around with you, Ethan. No one has the time around here to kid around. No one's kid around here for years, I don't think. There do seem to be regular folk living here. Or oh, there were regular folk living here. But you know, your home's your home, you try and make it work. It's not it's not sometimes it's not that easy just to just to pick up and move, you know. I'm not looking for fish food. No. So yeah, if you get caught by this thing, you'll just get dragged underwater. But kind of the comical thing about it is that there's only one, well, as far as I'm aware, there's only sort of one, uh, you know, cutscene, so to speak, that of you getting pulled under. So depending on where it happens, it can look really, really goofy. Like, it can look quite natural at times, and then other times you're just like, what? Where, where am I? Where is it to pull me in that direction? It may happen. We might see it. And I think I need to get out on this. Oh, no! Yeah, he's good.
can get alarmingly close to it. I think as long as you're on these rooftops, you're okay. Yeah, that'd be fun to see in uh, in VR, I'm sure. All right, can't do anything with that just yet. Gotta push this. Come on, Ethan. Get a good grip on it with your two fingers and one thumb. Damn. Dang it. Ew, oh, gooey, stinks. and it smells. Is that the worst part about that? <sighs> Actually, it probably is. <laughs> All right, so this is to kind of teach you about these little uh, switches here. Well, they only stay up, obviously the colors correspond to each other. They only stay up for a certain amount of time. So you got to pull them in the right order to get across. So let's see if we can one-shot this, because that would be uh, that would be better. So it's white at the end. I think that's that one. And there's blue, and then there's orange, and that should be fine. Oh no, where's the white one? Oh, it's there. Okay. We'll wait for them to go back down, and then we'll do it again. What's that? So that's orange? Oh yeah, sorry, the orange tape is right there. I know, I'm blind. I'm recording for YouTube. What do you expect? All YouTubers are blind. Did you know that? Ooh, that was tense. That was a tense moment we just had. Oh my. Can I go now? Probably. You know what? He's loving his life right now. He's loving his job, you know? I can't say fairer than that. I hesitated and I shouldn't have. Do <laughs> you see me hesitate there? Just go. You gotta commit. Commit to the bit. That's how these things work. I don't really know what I've achieved by doing this loop, actually. I'm just back here. Oh! And now there's this. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's an exercise in timing, that whole sequence. So again, very similar to the previous, to the previous one, I feel. In the, uh, in the spooky haunted house thing. I guess I like... The, I appreciate the variation. But again, the fact that the sequences are back-to-back -back, I don't think helps. Because it's like the whole middle section of the game is always just the same. Caught myself a big one. Oh, we, oh Ethan! Getting a, little, Get getting a little cocky now. Is this the way or not? <laughs> oh, it is. It is. How do we get out? Oh, it's this way. Now, I'm saying it's always the same, and then I'm just completely forgetting what I have to do. Whoops. Again, I'm a YouTuber. This is what we do. I'm not going to make any apologies for it. Ever. Alright, I'm here for my crank. I think we have to... Do we use it straight away? I think we do. Oh, I can't climb up it like this. That's ludicrous. Is 
But now we should be okay. Oh, ouch. I did I didn't even know you could get hit by that, but I guess I guess that makes sense. I appreciate that. I appreciate that touch. They didn't do any damage. Well, you tried. You can never judge anyone for trying. Some people don't try. That's the issue. Oh, sorry. I've been sat here a while. I need to... Uh... I need a stretch. I need a proper stretch. I need to get some yoga in. I know. I know I need to do it. <laughs> Getting to that age where it's like, you know what? It's not a it's not a choice anymore. You just need to be doing it. <laughs> Alright, so we spin this round. What do we want? Three orange, two blue there. Okay. Is that right? Is that right? That looks right. Or would it have already done the thing if it was right? Oh, that one needs to be blue. Okay. There we go. Nice easy puzzle. Puzzle. Got it. Got it. What's the way out? Actually, let's save. Yeah, what is the way? Is it back down here? <laughs> oh yeah, oh. It's having some trouble, so this is probably the way. Wait, don't, don't reload. Hang on. Let's up this capacity. And maybe get some free ammo. Let's do what we were talking about earlier. Welcome. Welcome back. Here to con me out of some ammo again, I see. I've some new stock. Mm -hmm. oh, 11 grand's quite a bit for that. But I'll take it. There you go. Okay, I only wasted one shell. That's all right. That won't be the last time we waste one shell. I'm going the wrong way again. I'm sure you are that. Oh wow, this is a long episode. Oh, that's all right. No wonder I'm uh, getting a little stiff here. Not like that. I mean, like my back and shoulders and things. <laughs> All right, well, common sense would say let's end it now. So I'm going to end it now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, losing track of time here. Um, but hey, you know, I might, I might have a go at these sequences a little bit. But obviously, I'm enjoying them, or I would have uh, noticed that we were a little, little over time. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and. Uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, slash whenever it is. And um, hopefully I will see you all in the next part. See you later. This is going to take a long time to upload. A long time. Although it gets longer the more I speak now, you see. If I keep speaking, the episode's longer take even longer to upload. I better stop. <laughs>